Welcome back for another video. This clip is from a couple days after Easter. As of right now, while editing this video, it is June 12th. I have been super busy in life wasting precious XP I could have been obtaining in the game. So let's sit back, relax, and watch what the hell I've been up to. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you sick of hitting low numbers or just not at all? Yeah, I mean, I just nasty tasting training. strength potions just not cutting it. It's fine for now. Well, do I have the product for you? I'm not really that super interested. meep potion. Man, come on. Super meep potion is created from natural substances only sourced here in Gelenor. What was that? How you say our world? We name? gather our own supplies to cut middlemen so you can have it at a reasonable price. How much? You might ask, how much? That's literally what I just said. For this local made product, we have priced it at just 10 mil. That's not reasonable at all. Now you may have the question, well, what does it do? Or it can't be that great if it's that inexpensive. Sounds like a Well, scam. folks, guess what? What? It does nothing. You're wasting Get your my product time. today. So we're starting this video with completing some combat tasks. I decided Muspa was the best one for me to do at the moment since it's decent money and my favorite boss right now. We just got ourselves a mining level. One more to go. New collection log. And this birdhouse should put me at 75 hunter. Yep, 75 hunter. Since hunter was my lowest stat, I am now base 75. Oh, jeez. And with that Muspa kill, that was my personal best with 2 minutes 35 seconds for a kill count of 299. And after this kill, that puts us at 300 kill count. And now I am taking a break from this boss to achieve my other goals. And with this farm run, that puts us at 95 farming. So after that 300 kill count, this is my collection log for Muspa. So far, pretty nice. Kind of. Beginner casket, garbage. Easy casket, collection log, nice. Hard casket, collection log, and a master clue. Two collection logs. Not bad. GP is kind of eh, but. Let's go! Time for the master. Garbage, but collection log. And with this level, that puts us at 85 mining. And 85 mining is one of the requirements to complete the Wilderness Elite Diaries. New collection log. And I was doing this because I wanted to train agility, and I've never done this minigame before, and it's kind of fun. Easy clue. Black pickaxe collection log. Why is that a collection log? Whatever. Sweet. 82 agility. Now, I think with that agility level, I can boost to do one of the diary achievements for the western province i think i really hope i can boost for this because i don't really feel like grinding out more agility levels at this moment but it's gotta get done either way so moving on and now i finally decided to complete all of the wilderness diaries so i'm gonna do a quick montage of all that and then get back to you once it's all completed enjoy
task complete. Upgraded the wilderness sword. Access to resource area is now free. The sword will now give you unlimited TPs to the fountain. 50 free runes a day. Increased rate of catching dark crabs. Sweet. We got a nice XP lamp. Let's slap that on. Probably agility or slayer. Hmm. Think agility. Yeah, let's do it. 50k. Let's go. And now it looks like all I need is 93 Slayer, 85 Agility, which I'm very close to. Three more levels, unless I can boost for it right now. Can already pickpocket an elf. 93 Slayer is going to take a while. So, Korrend, 95 Slayer. Definitely can't boost for that. So, this is going to be a bit. And with Agility, 91 Smithing. I'm so close to that. 90 agility, I think I can boost from 85, which I'm pretty close to as well. So I guess let's grind that out. So with completing the Wilderness Diaries, I am left with getting only agility, one smithing level, which I'm very close to, and a lot of Slayer levels. So the next clips are just going to be pretty much Slayer levels. I'm going to put off doing this for just... A little bit i have another project that i want to get taken care of first before i continue on so now i'm going to spend most of my slayer points unlocking vampire tasks so i can just afk slayer and also possibly get a new blood fury because mine's getting pretty low and i don't feel like paying 10 mil for a new one and you know afk slayer xp and a decent money chance that's pretty good to me hard casket Brunhelm H5. And Zami Dehyde Boots. Two collection logs. That was a good hard casket. Hard casket. Garbage. Another collection log. Adamant Boots while on my Slayer task. Hard casket. And more garbage. Hard casket. Collection log. Bandos page 2. Still garbage. Easy casket. Rune boots collection log on the Slayer task. Hard casket. Magic comp bow collection log. Otherwise, trash. As Boti always says, open your caskets in the wilderness because you will always receive... Two collection logs. Listen to the streamer. I missed it, but that's 88 Slayer. We're getting closer. Still gonna take a while though. Hard casket. <sighs> Another hard casket. I got a Drake's Tooth from my Slayer task, and I also got the sandals sometime way before I started making videos, and so I just decided to combine those. Another casket, let's see what we get. So bad. Combat task completed on a slayer task. And another one. And another hard casket. And it's garbage. Per usual. Hard combat task completed on a KBD task. Always open your clues in the wilderness. So you get nothing. Quick break from slayer for 96 farming. Three more levels to go. This has got to be my fastest PB. And it is 47 seconds and a combat task completed. Sick. Combat task. Combat task. Combat task. Combat task. And finally, a rare drop and a collection log. Trident of the Seas. On kill count 187. And I believe with this magic tree, once I check the health, this should be a farming level. 97 farming. Two more to go. In the same day, we get 76 Hunter. Let's go. Wilderness Elite Casket. Garbage. Number 10 of beginner clues. And of course, 
and another beginner clue yep can you guys guess yet what 99 i'm gonna get because with this patch that makes that 98 farming one level to go but first another terrible beginner clue and 32 hit spory kill count with the bottomless compost bucket big specs and zeros Sit back and relax. Combat task completed. 33 kill count. And 99 farming coming. Now. I did it. Easy game. Let's go get that cape. Ninety nine farming achieved. We are getting closer and closer to maxing out the stats. Hopefully next video, I will be able to finish all of the achievement diaries until next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.